Speaking, speaking of stories, right? The kind of type of shocker story type. Damn right. For the people that don't it's know a, me, it's a prequel penitentiary slim. Story. Yeah, yeah, like all my family, all my friends, my mom, shout out to my mom. She know everybody knows. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah. So I got expelled from two, two schools when I was a kid. Expulsion. Big time. Okay. The first one I got expelled from. You gotta understand, I'm a light skinned nigga with green eyes, lived in the hood. You know what I'm saying? I got tried a lot of times. Had to step up to the plate a whole hell of a lot of times. Who normally tried you? Dark skinned niggas. Darkies. Yeah, it was like Bloods and Crips, bro. I, was, I talked about this in my life story. It's very true. On my YouTube channel, Tall Guy Carbies. Yeah, if y'all don't know, it is a racial discrimination within this minority community with each other. But if we're going gonna to go back, date past that, let's go back to slave times, brother. Because yeah. the white people typing better than the black community, I mean, of brother. course, it was a you know smooth move. Had the light. They, what they did was they raped the black women. Tore that pussy up. Made a little nigga like me. Who was the first white man to fuck one of them mother? He's a crazy that's, nigga, though. That's a good question. He's one of the ones, though. I give him that. But you was a wild I don't dude. Know he one of the ones, type. I mean, that's type of compliment. Hey, he in it. Maybe you wouldn't be here without him. <laughs> so he, nigga, he broke the code type. He might was a good man too type. Loved her like damn. I like the nappy hair in your hair. You never I'm know, like, huh? Yeah, yeah. You know the nappy hair. Nah, on he, he took type. it though. He took. He it. He definitely took it, man. Beast mode. They wouldn't too. treat. They wouldn't treat it right. They and was type, drunk on a big whiskey. Arr, we buck over the pussy yeah, type. type. Yeah, that's bad. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, it's like Bloods and Crips in there. Anybody, any niggas who are out there listening, dark skin or light skin. Y'all know how bad it is in the hood, man. You know what I'm saying? And right. I'm going to tell you something. You see a light-skinned nigga in the hood, it's either he pussy or he type serial killer brain. Yes, sir. Top level. And I'm not pussy. You know what I'm saying? Not at all. So I was at a middle school, and uh, <laughs> long story short, I got into it with this dude. I thought he was type cool. You know, I, I first, you know, it's crazy. All my light man niggas always been like dark skinned niggas, though. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like you type, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You full no I'm dilution. A, I'm a good, yeah, I'm a good goddamn peanut butter yeah, type. You type got a little something in there, type little Asian or some shit. Don't tell too much. Don't tell too much. Yeah, okay, brother. But anyway, um, usually they all, you know, pretty dark skinned or you know, somewhere around there. Right. And I, it's just how it happened. I don't just goddamn choose nigga. Like, oh, right. he's dark skinned nigga, like, it be my buddy. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's just, you know what I'm saying? It's just you know, what it is. You know what I'm saying? So it was a dark skinned nigga. We in science class. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, we cracking jokes. You know, you know, science class, you got the tall stools. All the good stools. The, the good ones. And you got, the high ones. got the, the And your legs toys. dangle off them. Yeah. And them the ones you want. Right. You know what I'm saying? And you got the big square table here, and we mm -hmm. dissect the little, pow little owl pellets and shit. So, you know, you got the little needle thing, and you got the little scalpel thing. Mm -hmm. And you dissect the little thing. On Open them up. Yeah, and all that shit. And there's girls around shit. He around there. You like sitting where you sitting. So, what and grade is this again? This was Sixth or seventh grade. Okay, that's a that's okay. a sturdy year. Yeah, I think it good might be adolescence six. type. Yeah, somewhere around there. Yep. Six or seven. I know this though. Um, and uh, yeah, we sitting there and we cracking jokes and you know what I'm saying whatever. You know I'm good with the jokes now, man. Right. And the thing is, not only am I a light skinned nigga with green eyes, but I joke a lot and I'm right. good at jokes. You right. know what I'm saying. <laughs> and the thing is, though, it don't matter because whatever level you want to go to, I'm willing to go to. Of course. You know what I'm saying. But I don't want to go there. Yeah, I ain't damn you know what my, saying? Uh, yeah, my forefront. Yeah, and definitely objection. before prison, I definitely wasn't trying to like. You know what I'm saying? Be all the way top tier with everything. You know what right. I was just like, if I had to, I would. No you know question. And uh, we cracking jokes. And then, you know, he started the cracking the jokes. You know me, I got activated. Couldn't stop. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. I don't know how to stop. Yeah, nigga push you, you punch him. No question. Yeah. I'm not about to do all that with you. Right. So, you know, he cracked the joke with me. And, I, you know, they got the, the, the hoes laughing and all They're that. They're laughing. They're okay. laughing. Okay. I got to go crazy on you. Got you. I got all the jokes. You can't say nothing about me. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna lie, I was a tight bummy, though, but yeah. I, you couldn't really say nothing because he ain't couldn't see the whole attire. We had to wear uniforms at this at this school, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you right. can only say so much. Right, you know what I'm right, saying? Like, right. We got the same shit. Made on. my vest is wrinkly. Right, that's you know what I'm saying? Whatever the case do, is. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, I didn't pick this out. Yeah, so it didn't matter. So, you know, on the visual, you got nothing on me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna roast you to shreds, and I did. <laughs> and then next you know, he got his feelings, tight walked off, but he went the long way around the right. class. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, hey, you gotta So he like, did like a detour. Like he was cool. All the way around, type. Yeah, like everything right. was cool. So you and thought cool. it was over. Left, with. Left, Rose he, of he left with a laugh and a smile. And all oh, that. oh he like, left, like, okay. Sinister brain. He got me good. I'm going to tell Damn. you why. So he, he left on a chuckle after you roasted him. Like, ha, you got me. Yeah, with a Denzel Washington smile. Hey, oh, you know shit. You know what I'm saying? But with a Denzel double back. You know what I'm saying? What? So he came back around the class. The next thing you know, I'm sitting there talking, you know, I'm, I got the dub, you know, yeah, hey, they can't fuck with me, you know, yeah, talking to the that girls. Nigga, that little yeah, black man, come on, mind. that nigga for real, you know what I'm saying? Bah, nigga hit me. Oh, shit. In the back of my head. <laughs> Bro, I don't know what it is. No, was it the back of the head or really but your listen, eye type jaw? No, it was back of the head type. Because you know niggas say that now. And then it got hit in the mood type. <laughs> yeah. No, nigga, nigga hit got, me in the head. No, 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 I've, nigga. no, 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 I've got hit in the eye before. No, no, I'm fucking with you. That shit is painful too, man. You ever got hit in your eye? Hell yeah. That shit is painful. Definitely if they hit you on that bone and that bone right there. Oh, yeah. It's instant swell up too. Instant. 
I ain't no joke. I got hit in the eye one time. That shit ain't no joke. But um, no, this was full back of the head type side lick, a little bit above the ear. Right. You know what I'm saying? But enough to knock me off the goddamn stool. <laughs> Damn. So he definitely connected pretty good. Now you fall on the stool. Was it like instant fall off with the feet up? So fall? when I had the things in my hand and I'm like, you know, like this type, right? That's second the move. So you know totally off guard. Totally. And I'm talking. I'm talking and everything. You know what I'm saying? So it's full off guard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But. Boom, I just get hit, Ugh. and the next thing you know, I fall to my left, right. and I got the stuff in my hand. Damn. So when I fall to the left, boom, it was like, you know, fall on the floor right next to me, though. But yeah. it didn't scatter off far. The thing you like, dissect this stuff with. Yeah, okay. yeah, the little needle thing, and then the other thing. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And then, uh, you know, it's like, you just feel like a, like, it's like a shot go off your right. head. Like, you get whiplash totally or some shit. Guard, yeah. But I'm cool. Like, as soon as I, it, it happened so fast, because as soon as I fell, hit the floor, boom. I instantly, you know how you think about a million things in one second? Right. This nigga hit me. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I, for some reason in my head, I just knew it was this nigga. So I grabbed it, boom, got up, and I'm looking at the nigga. And you know, it's like one of the moments where you're like, kid, what, what you gonna do? You gonna hit me then? Of course. Yeah, so it's like in that moment. So you had one of the things you was there sitting with. Yeah, okay. I had two in my hand. Oh, damn. You know what I'm saying? And I had the little needle thing, and I had the little other thing. So it was actually the other way. The needle thing was over here, and the other couple things was over here. But when I fell, it was rever- before I fell, it was reversed. Damn. But when I grabbed it, the needle oh, thing you, was okay. in this hand, and the little scalpel thing was in this hand. Boom. Excuse me. Bless you. So, and at this time, too, you got to understand, bro, I wasn't, thank you. I wasn't as big as I am now. So, right. when you vision this story, imagine a little, I am the captain now, light-skinned nigga with green eyes. Because right. I was not big, I was not tall. Oh, big flint, big, you know what I'm saying? Right. Wasn't the strongest nigga in the world. Yeah, straight cat built. No, nah, not that, I wouldn't say all that far. <laughs> but type, I, type sloth. Oh, okay. But, you know, furless. Sloth, was it furless? Uh, no, not the furless motherfucker. Okay. I had a little, I type furless, though, because I'm not that yeah. hairy. So, I'll type a little furless. furless you know what I'm saying? Furless yeah, so sloth. I type a furless sloth now, people. But I had, to, I had the visual, not the fucking goddamn Ice Age motherfucker. Oh, but yeah. Yeah, because he was type dumb. I'm talking about like a little smarter type. Like, I mean, I, the Ice streets. Age one is type. I can see that. Now. I was, nah, I was type street <laughs> smart, though. You know what I'm saying? I had the streets in it. So, nah, okay. I wasn't full goddamn that the nah, nah, type. No, not that. No, not that sloth. You know what I'm saying? But full type, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't looking up to par like I am now. Right. You know what I'm saying? Ain't gotta understand. There's a dark skinned nigga, type bigger, type right. grew a little faster, type man boy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Uh huh. So I got up. I got the. I got the kid. I got to have weapon. Cause, Cause you th- hand to hand. The hands. You don't know. My, I wasn't that confident in my hand to hand combat then. Now I go hand to hand. I don't give a fuck. So you, you went straight to anything goes in your brain. Yeah. Now it's win lose draw. But okay. then it was like whatever I had to do to win. No, I'm talking about when that happened. You gotta be like okay. Anything goes right away. No, no, no. I knew instantly as soon as I got up, I had to have the weapon. Oh, okay. Damn. Yeah, like I knew. Like, I, the thing was, like I said, I wasn't that confident in my hands then. For sure. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have enough So it was time of blessing to hit you while you were dissecting because you ready for Yeah, in a way, combat, kind of. Yeah. But I would have preferred not to get hit off guard. Oh, well, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it had the, had the option been given to me to square up, I would have squared up. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Win, lose, or draw. I'm walking away knowing I went and gave it everything. Yeah, that's you know the best way to do it. So when he hit me and I fell and I jumped up and I got the thing, he stood there, he put his arms in the air. And he's like, well, what you going to do? You going to stab me? Now, mind you, and he just embarrassed me in front of this whole class, bro. Right. And I told you, I'm not pussy, bro. And even though I don't want to hurt you and I would have right. preferred not to do this with you, right. you brought this on yourself. So what happened? He's put it, he said, what you going to stab me? And I said, yep. Bye. Oh, I stabbed that nigga. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I stabbed that nigga. Stabbed him in his goddamn stabbed, heart? No, and his like, stomach like type right here. Was you, going, was you going for the heart? I don't know what I was going for. I just wanted. I just wanted. To, I just wanted. Get this nigga for attempted murder right now. Nah, yeah, I, already, no, I got locked up for it. So oh, I was like, did? yeah, I got a police okay, arrest so me and everything. Okay, so you stabbed this nigga. Stabbed him. Boom. You know what I'm saying? I stabbed him. Bye. You know what I'm saying? Then next thing you know, uh, I just got angry. Like I don't know. I, I, I type of serial killer brain, man. I'm t- t- I stabbed him, and then next thing you know. When when I seen the blood, cause he had the, the white shirt yeah. under the under the vest type, and he just had the white shirt. So I hit him, and it was like it was instant blood. You know what I'm saying? Damn. And then next time I got more angry, like this nigga really played with me. And then I hit him with the left motherfucker. Oh Boom. shit! You double. Yep, I showed sure did. Michael Myers tried to kill that nigga, man. Fuck. And then next thing you know, but the thing was is like I really know when I look back at it now, I didn't try to kill him. I just really want you. You you hurt me, man. You hurt me, and I want to hurt you back. Right. And I want to hurt you more than you ever but did. But your mind went on murder. It wasn't on no murder, though. Yeah. It was just like, but looking back at it, the nigga could have died. He oh, didn't no. die. Oh, no. Plenty you of people died from less, brother. Yeah, for sure. But then, boom. And then he tried to run. I got him again. Oh, and then next you know, he just he started to run. I got a class. And then I got him. I was running around. I was, I was running was around. chasing him? Yeah, I got him a couple times in the back. Oh, shit. I ain't lie to you. You I chase him down with the motherfucking goddamn Freddy. I want a key, man. You with did the that. Jason Voorhees, Why, you, do Why you do that to me? No, he's slow. I was running. Like, ah. Oh, you was big. Like, what you tell that story? Man, huh? come like, yeah. Why you come here? Why you do that? Yeah, uh-huh. And I was talking to him, too, the whole huh? time. I'm like, uh-huh. I'm like, I was talking like, why you running, bitch? Like, oh. I was talking. Yeah, I was talking. Yeah, you hit me. Then come here, bitch. So everybody in the class go, 
And uh, my dad, if you watch my brother's Life of Jimmy Barrett's um, story right. uh, on his YouTube channel, go subscribe. <laughs> he'll say in that video that I had a very abusive father. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like he was. Shit. I wouldn't make him gonna say, I'm just gonna say dad, because father type, you know, you gotta raise and do good with your kids and, and all that shit. But anyway, long story short, um, yeah, he was super abusive. So they called my mom first, right? Because I love my mom, Jamie, love my dad. But every time I see this nigga, he was just abusive. So right. next thing you know, uh, I called my mom, or they called my mom, and then next thing you know, they had my mom on the speaker, and I could hear her, because, you know, you're in the part where the police are sitting next to me, I'm, I'm goddamn handcuffed to the chair. Oh, yeah, they can play the speaker for y'all. Oh, yeah, they got the full little things in the bag, full police shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? I understand I'm a juvenile at this time. At this time, I had been a juvenile before, too. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, they're in the back of the office, and I hear my mom's speaker. They call, they say, just want to let you know, um, your son has been involved. He stabbed a person with this thing, with this instrument, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And my mom just said, oh, my God. And she was just like, call his dad. And I was like, oh, oh shit. fuck. Damn. You know what I'm saying? That's worse than jail, huh? Yeah. I understand. <laughs> One time, like, I lived in a full foster home. Like, people For don't sure. understand this. Like, yeah, they don't know. They, I literally, my dad was so abusive, like, that literally one time I, I, I got locked up, I went to jail. And then next thing you know, my mom was coming to get me, and then I had to go through the court process because they got to release you when you're a juvenile. They got to release you to your parents, right? Or one legal guardian. So next thing you know, it was so bad that one time I was like, "No!" Nah, like my mom came, and I was like, "Cool, I'm ready to get the fuck up out of here." Anyway, then my mom came, and then my dad was in the motherfucker, and then the, the judge said something to my mom. She, he was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna release him to y'all," and she was like, "Yeah, release him to his dad. He's gonna go live with his dad." I said, "No, um, I'll take the foster I'll home take, judge. I, yeah, I, I'm gonna go to the, the like, group home. Yeah, all my family's listening. They know this is a fact. <laughs> uh, I'll take the foster home. I understand. I went and lived in a full foster home, bro, oh, because shit. I didn't want to go live with that nigga. You know what I'm saying? So give you an understanding. We had yeah. full child services, all that stuff. I, I came from that kind of yeah, for real, top real, yeah. No joke. You know yeah, what I'm saying? for sure. So when they called my dad and that nigga come, I said, ah, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? So they said, no. He come up there, and this is actually the only one of the only like real memories I had. Like there was like of him not like torturing a nigga type. Right. And it was, he legit, he's so crazy dumb, like wild man, full GD, all that, full right. from Chicago, South Side, Robin Taylor's, all that. He grew up how he grew up. So, you know, I, I'm not like pointing the finger at him, but you know, he, he come from that type of life. Right. So, and he ain't had no dad, so he did the best what he could do. Right. Whatever. Ain't hold no grudges, and I don't hate him. So long story short, he, uh, he stabbed a few people, he's done stuff, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? Sure. My mom seen it one time full outright. Yeah, yeah. Shh. Yeah, because Ty woke up the baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give you an understanding. Uh, for so, sure. um, God, yeah, yeah, but he, he passed that. He beat all that. So, there ain't no, yeah, okay. thing, ain't no like, type of type or nothing yeah. like that. Nah, I ain't that. time for it. You know it. what I'm saying? Plus, ain't, come on, get past that. But anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, so when it happened and my dad came up to get me, he didn't even get mad at nothing. This was the one time where this nigga wasn't full guy, like, psychopath, goddamn psychopath man. Oh, he was with that, the, 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 the killings. For sure. But the thing was, is he was just like, damn, you type looking a little bit more like me than I thought type. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, can't be just going around stabbing people, son. You know what I'm For saying? sure. And I'm like, damn. And he didn't do nothing. Like I ain't, oh, get, a, I ain't get grounded. Cool. I ain't get goddamn punishment. I, of course, I was expelled. Right, of you know course, but I killed the man. Yeah, but I didn't have like no nothing after that. I but think the, he was just so concerned. Right. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, we got past it. Been big prison type. Yeah, for sure. Because I understand I got full arrest and everything. Then I got released again after that yeah. to my dad. You know okay. What I'm so, so how about the dude? Is he not not too bad? I know, I seen that nigga one time, like maybe years later. He was paying you know, right before I right before I went to prison. Now he just typed, looked at me, me mugged. But I didn't know, like, like he was full, like he was full type hostile. You could see it in his face. Yeah. And this is years later. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So yeah, I think the reason why he typed in right at this time, I'm confident now. So it's like I didn't have nothing on me or nothing like that. So it could have been full pause. You know what right. I'm saying? Could have been thrown. But the thing was, it's like I think he was type a little traumatized. Like maybe I don't know if he got something in the pocket. Yeah, that nigga might got a pistol this time. I got a shotgun in his goddamn back pocket. Yeah, so that's my story for y'all, man. Oh man, legendary that's, man. What you call an organic tale? That's an organic tale, Big boy. Organic, that's penitentiary slim stories. Man. <laughs> Smile, nigga. Three up, three up, three up. Climb to the top with me.